As manufacturers roll out over 20 new models for 2022, some popular cars are going away and some may come back as electric SUVs. Now, what does that mean to you? The models that are ending production will have the best deals for you if you're in the market for a new ride. But what models should you be looking at? I'll explain and stay to the end for the bottom line. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time to the channel, we give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss anything. Some of the vehicles that may surprise you that are going away were very popular and others, no shocker. And there's not much room for models that aren't selling or making profit. Starting with the Hyundai Veloster. The compact car segment loses another player on the fun to drive car segment and Hyundai's three-door hatchback is out of here. Although the 275 horsepower Veloster N lives on another year where the Korean automaker shifts things to Kona and Venue SUVs, Hyundai is busy engineering new rides that are all electric platform. The Toyota Land Cruiser. It has tons of off-road capability and daily driving skills, but Toyota has announced that in the US, it is bearing the Land Cruiser in the sand forever. A new generation of Land Cruiser will be announced for the rest of the world and will have an offering of both a 409 horsepower twin turbo V6 and a 204 horsepower V6 diesel, which I wish was here, but we won't be getting it. Instead, we might get a Lexus LX. The Mazda CX-3 has been a very popular compact crossover. Unfortunately, the CX-3 offers very little cargo space, so Mazda is replacing it with the CX-30, which earns one of the top subcompact crossovers on the marketplace. The Toyota Avalon, a very popular luxury sedan, is ending its run for 2022. And Toyota remains committed to the sedan market and focuses more on SUVs and plug-in vehicles. And there's a lot of new vehicles coming out. You can get more car smarts tips in my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. The link is down below. The Mazda 6 competes against the Honda Accord and the Hyundai Sonata, but the Mazda 6 was lacking a hybrid trim. And if the Mazda 6 returns, it'll most likely be using a hybrid platform. The Volvo V60 and V90, the wagons that are just too much fun to drive, they're gonna be leaving us. Wagons don't sell as well as they should, just like the Jaguar XF Sport Brake didn't. So what we've got left is the Volvo V60 Cross Country and the V90 Cross Country if you really want a wagon. If not, you should test drive one. Volkswagen Passat. To celebrate its finale, Volkswagen is offering a Passat limited edition with subtle references to the Chattanooga, Tennessee plant where it's being built. A Volkswagen is shifting its focus to larger vehicles and electric SUVs. The Alfa Romeo 4C, while it never sold any significant numbers, in fact, the sales were hardly detectable. They sold 144 4C Spiders and sales for 2020, yeah, 71. And that's certainly sad because the 4C's passing is another Alfa Romeo leaving, but they're claiming there's more vehicles coming. So I'm looking forward to that. Here's the bottom line. There are deals to be had on vehicles that are ending. And there are even more vehicles than I listed here. I just wanted to give you some of the sampling. And dealers may have additional incentives on top of that that the manufacturers are offering. But keep in mind, with the global chip shortage and production issues, that's not gonna end for a while and dealers need cars in the lot. All you have to do is look at any dealer lot and you'll sadly see that every dealer and every brand has vehicles in the front row and nothing behind it. They don't even have a 30 day supply and that's a real problem. So when you're looking for a deal, make sure to do your homework, check around. And if you can wait till next year, that would be a smarter move. If you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have additional questions or comments, put them down below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. There's a lot of vehicles going away and I wanna help you. And you can follow me on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix because I'm always putting out some cool information that you won't see anywhere else. And there's more information on our website, carcoachreports.com in English and in Spanish. And don't forget to check out our podcast. We're having a lot of fun. It's called Total Car Score. It's on all platforms and thank you so much much for watching and we'll see you next time.